That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I need to change the names. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're getting into game one here. An intense neutral. But Spencer is coming out on top. Oh, shooting that ray of punishment. I gotta change the scores. Zero to zero. Anyways, Gippy Ganondorf's recovery. Spencer gets an early lead. In. What is this? Reader's quarters. Uh oh. Got us. Hitting it with that side B, preposterously. Holding the neutral B, putting down those special moves, but doing a good chunk of damage. Spencer could get two stocks up here. Vanderpool is not looking to let that happen, but the curve on that down air will finish Vanderpool off. Oh my gosh, he's going for the big up tilt kick. Spencer has a very commanding lead for game one here. Vanderpool is able to deal with the speed of Inkling, but let's see if he can deal with the speed of Mithra. Quick down B, putting on 16. The fully charged neutral B, I'm surprised that didn't kill actually. The ray of punishment, he still had his jump, but it wasn't enough to get back. A commanding lead. You shall be more successful. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi. Hi, Ma. Love you. Ma. Getting into game two. Kalos. Probably Vanderpool's pick if I had to take, I guess. Vanderpool taking his hand off of the controller. He needs to untilt right now if he has a hope to continue in this tournament. Side B and the side B. Not a true combo, but still connecting. He's taunting him. What is he's a hold the controller. He's freaking out. Having a lead. The down B. Putting Mithra far off. Does he hit the tech? He does. Talked about that in practice, and he has clearly learned. Application. Switching the Pyra, the kill power is what Spencer wants right now. He doesn't need to rack up the percent anymore. Vanderpool gets up and with a quick downbeat underneath the sword, secures a stock lead. However, he's sitting at 125 against Pyra. He gets scooped off the edge and doesn't use his jump. Bringing this game back to even. A nice tech into a grab from Vanderpool. Up smash, Vanderpool's in a bad spot. His air mobility is severely lacking compared to Mithra's. He just wants to get back on the ground. Foresight in the dash attack. The follow-up. I can never I never see Mithras follow that up. But Spencer has been practicing it, and it's obvious that he's been getting pretty good at it. A nice crushing spike in game two. Getting the up he tries to edge guard Mithra. But he's just not in the right spot. Spot dodging into a quick jab. Gives him stage control, but Spencer manages to weasel his way back in. Side B, 
into a little bit of a scuttle into forward tilt will put Mithra down. Basically even here when it comes to weight. No longer, it's a little bit in Spencer's favor. He still had his jump, able to recover. He stalled it out there for a bit. Maybe he expected Spencer was coming out after him. Up smash will not kill, he's not on Pyra. Spencer taking game two with a relatively commanding lead. 